Hello everyone, this is Jaya Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equations with variable equations. So let's get going. Problem. Solve x squared d squared minus xd plus 1 into y equals to log x. We are given a differential equation with variable question and also this is a sorry this is a Cauchy's equation. Now we'll reduce this differential equation with variable coefficients to a differential equation with constant coefficients by making a substitution. Solution. Given differential equation x squared d squared minus x d plus 1 into y equal to log x which is a Cauchy's equation now let's make a substitution put x equals to e power z then log x equals to z or log x to the base equals to z for x greater than 0 let theta equals to d by dz. Theta is a differential operator with independent variable z. Then xd equals to theta, x squared d squared equals to theta of theta minus 1. Now this equation becomes theta into theta minus 1 minus theta plus 1 into y equal to z. Replace log x by z, x d by theta, x squared d squared by theta of theta minus 1. Then, this becomes theta square minus theta minus theta plus 1 into y equal to z. Right? Again, minus theta minus theta is minus 2 theta plus 1 into y equals to z. So, we have reduced the given differential equation with variable equations to a differential equation with constant equations and also this is all. And also this is in operator form f of theta into y equals to function of z. Which is an operator form f of theta into y equals to function of z. Where f of theta equals to theta square minus 2 theta plus 1. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation which is given by y equals to yc plus yt. Let's now find yc and y. We know that the auxiliary equation is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to we are having f of theta theta square minus 2 theta plus 1 right. Let's replace differential operator theta by m so that we will get f of m equals to m square minus 2m plus 1. Then our auxiliary equation becomes m square minus 2m plus 1 equals to 0, right? Then we can write minus 2m as 2 into m into 1 and write this 1 as 1 square and this of a square minus 2ab plus b square now expansion of a minus b whole square form, right? We can write m minus 1 whole square as m minus 1 into m minus 1. Now we equate each factor to 0 when m minus 1 equals to 0. We'll get m equals to 1 since m minus 1 is repeating twice. So we'll get m equals to 1, 1. The roots are real and equal. Therefore, the roots are real and equal. Now we need to write the complementary function using these equal roots. We know that when two roots are equal, real and equal, say m1 equals to m2, then yc will be c1 plus c2x, sorry, here we are having z as our independent variable, right, z into e power, that equal root into z. Then our complementary function looks like yc equals to c1 plus c to z into e power equal to 1 into z, right? This equals to c1 plus c to z into e power z. Now we are having yc in terms of z, 
we need to write in terms of x. So what we'll do, we'll just replace. Replace. Z by log x. And e power z by x. Then yc becomes c1 plus c2 into replace z by log x into replace e power z by x. So these are required yc. Let's now find yp. Particular integral. We'll find yp using 1 by f of theta into q of z. We are having f of theta and q of z, right? But f of theta is theta square minus 2 theta plus 1 and q of z is z. So this is of 1 by f of theta into z power k form, right? Now, we'll take the lowest degree term common from all the terms. So we can write theta square minus 2 theta plus 1 as 1 plus theta square minus 2 theta into z. So this is of 1 by 1 plus x form. So we can write it as 1 plus x whole inverse, right? This is equals to 1 plus theta square minus 2 theta whole inverse into z. Now we'll expand this using binomial series expansion. 1 plus x whole inverse equals to 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube plus so on. Right? So before going for expansion, we'll just find the derivatives of z. Theta of z. Derivative of z with respect to z is 1. Find theta square of z. Theta square of z can be written as theta of theta of z. We have the value for theta of z, which is 1. Now find derivative of 1 with respect to z, 0. Right? Likewise, we'll get theta cube of z is 0. Theta power 4 of z is 0. And so on. In general, theta power k of z equals to 0. For k equal to 2, 3, 4, and so on. Now keeping this in mind, we'll expand. 1 plus theta square minus 2 theta whole inverse. Now. Right. Let's expand. 1 plus theta square minus 2 theta whole inverse. For x equals to theta square minus 2 theta, we'll get 1 minus of theta square minus 2 theta plus theta square minus 2 theta whole square minus theta square minus 2 theta whole cube plus so on, right? This is equals to 1 minus theta square minus 2 theta plus expansion of theta square minus 2 theta whole square is theta square whole square plus 2 theta whole square minus 2 into theta square into 2 theta which is equals to theta power 4. We know that a power m whole power n equals to a power m into n, right? Then theta square whole square is theta power 4. 2 theta whole square is 4 theta square minus 2 into 2, 4. Theta square into theta is theta power cube or theta cube simply. So we notice that we are having higher derivatives, okay? Theta square minus 2 theta whole square inverse higher derivatives, right? Then the next term also inverse completely higher derivatives. So we can neglect all the terms from here since it involves or it is involving higher derivatives. put so on. Okay. Now coming to yp. 1 plus x whole inverse is 1 minus of theta square minus 2 theta plus theta square minus 2 theta whole square minus plus and so on into z. Right? Or you can just write two more terms for your convenience. Or 
or simply plus so on. into z. This becomes 1 minus of theta square minus 2 theta plus theta power 4 expansion of theta square minus 2 theta whole square is theta power 4 plus 4 theta square minus 4 theta cube and so on minus so on into z. Since theta power k of z equals to 0 for k equal to 2, 3 and so on. So neglect higher derivatives or higher derivative terms involving theta square, theta cube and so on. Okay. So now we are going to neglect theta square from the second term and all the terms from here. Then yp becomes 1 minus of minus 2 theta into z which is equals to 1 minus into minus plus 2 theta into z is equals to 1 into z z plus 2 theta into z is 2 theta z. We know that theta is a differential operator. Then we can write theta as d by dz of z. Right? Z equals to z plus 2 into derivative of z with respect to z is 1. We will get z plus 2. We got yp equals to z plus 2. Now we are having yp in terms of z, right? We need to write in terms of x. So let's replace z by log x. Then yp becomes log x plus 2, which is our required yp. We are having yp and yc. Now let's write the general solution. The general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Then y equal to yc, we are having c1 plus c2 log z. Sorry, log x into x plus yp log x plus 2. So this is the required solution. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation with variable equations in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.